Hi friends, today I'm sharing with you all the ultimate chocolate recipes. These recipes are so delicious, decadent and indulgent. We've got chocolate brownies, a flourless chocolate cake, vegan chocolate cake, chocolate ganache and a chocolate self-sourcing pudding. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure you stick around for all of these recipes. You are going to want to learn how to make them for sure. Let's get to it. Hello Bond Bakers, I'm going to be making chocolate brownies. So let me run you through our ingredients. Butter and some chocolate chips, almond meal, some sugar, vanilla here on the side and then some eggs. And I've also lined a baking tray here with some parchment paper. Turn your oven onto a moderate temperature, so 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Melt down our butter and our chocolate. It's going to go in the microwave now for just a couple of minutes and then you want to bring it out give it a bit of a stir through. I'll grab our large bowl, add in the sugar, the eggs, the vanilla, and we'll give it a good beat so it's well combined. You can add your almond meal to the egg mixture and then just give it a nice whisk. Ooh. I have taken my mixture out of the oven after about 50 minutes. Wow. Hey, hey, today we're going to be making flourless chocolate and pecan cake. For the ingredients, we have some dark chocolate and some butter, some brown sugar, coffee, vanilla bean paste, egg whites, egg yolks, pecan meals. You will also need a cake tin. I'll also be using my KitchenAid. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Melt down our dark chocolate and our butter pieces. And I've just put a little bit of cling wrap over mine. It's gonna go in the microwave and I just don't want it to go everywhere. Just do it in one minute increments. Okay, this is looking good, really nice and smooth. So in goes the pecan meal, egg yolks, coffee, vanilla bean, half of the sugar, and you can just estimate. Give this a really good mix. It's time to go ahead and place your egg whites into a large bowl. Give it a whisk on a high speed until firm peaks start to form. I'm going to start adding in some of that brown sugar in small increments. So just go ahead and place in some of the egg whites and gently fold in a bit at a time. And then we'll just keep doing this until it's all combined. So let's pour it into our cake tin and then into the oven it'll go. We're gonna have it in there for about an hour and 10 minutes to an hour and 20. I have just taken my cake out of the oven. Oh, look at that. Woohoo! So I'm just gonna finish it off with a little dusting of cocoa. Hola, my baking amigos. We're gonna be making vegan chocolate cake. Check out the ingredients. Some all-purpose flour, 100% cocoa, grapeseed oil, vanilla essence, filled white vinegar, baking soda and salt, some sugar, hot water. These three ingredients are gonna make up our chocolate syrup. Some sugar, warm water, 100% cocoa. Make sure you turn on your oven to a moderate temperature. We're gonna start with the dry as per usual. I mix all of the dry ingredients together. It's time to start adding our wet ingredients. Now into the oven they go and we're going to leave them in there for 15 minutes and then at that time we will check and rotate them and see how they're going. Okay, so while our beautiful vegan chocolate cakes are cooking in the oven, we're just going to do our syrup very quickly and it's just a matter of adding all of the ingredients together. So we've got the sugar, the water and the cocoa. To finish them off, I'm going to cover them with some beautiful vegan ganache. Make sure you check out my recipe for that.
team, we're gonna be making chocolate self-sourcing pudding. Turn on your ovens. I've got mine on 180 degrees Celsius or about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now come and look at the ingredients. Cocoa, melted down butter, milk in here, self-raising flour, brown sugar, boiling hot water. Combine a few of the dry ingredients. So I'm only putting half of my sugar and half of my cocoa in this mix here because I'm gonna use the other half for the self-sourcing part. Add my butter and my milk. So now I'm just going to start combining all of the ingredients together. Spread out all the mixture so that it's nice and evenly spread. And we're gonna be working on the sauce now. Put the cocoa and the brown sugar together, give it a little mix up, combine that, and then we're just gonna sprinkle it over the top of the base. And then we're gonna slowly add, very gently, our boiling water to all of it. And then it goes in the oven and does its thing. So I've just put mine in for about 15 minutes. Wow. This is amazing. Give it a go. Thank you for watching Le Bon Baker. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for all tips, tricks, recipes for the home baker.